I guess I'm gonna show you how to get more FPS in 5M. Let's get right to it. All right, so what you're gonna want to do is first make sure you're on the latest Windows update. Latest Windows update is version 20H2 OS build 19042.685. To update your Windows, if you don't know how to, go search your Windows in the bottom left, search your Windows update settings, and make sure you're up to date. If you updated that, you want to go to view optional updates, and if you need to do these, do these. I don't need Bluetooth updates or Intel updates, but there should be other updates you can do, like 20H2 update. That's the best one for gaming right now. Now, next thing you want to make sure is that you have the latest drivers. Now, whether you have NVIDIA or AMD, you can just right-click right here and go to the AMD control panel or AMD Real Live or Radeon Live, whatever it's called. But since I have an NVIDIA GPU, I go to GeForce Experience. Now, you just want to make sure you're on the latest driver. I am. Now, we're going to go to... Actually, don't do that. Hit your Windows key and R. Put in percent sign temp percent sign these are all just windows temp folders that windows makes for you they pretty much have no use you just want to hit Control a then shift delete so select them all and permanently delete them you want to hit yes and then for this when it says files in use and you cannot close these hit do this for all current items and you want to hit skip i should free up some space and make your drives faster now you want to go to your recycle bin this is if you never permanently deleted anything like me i never permanently deleted some of these things so you just want to hit Control a shift delete hit yes it should make your job a little bit faster since it's on your c drive give it some more space next thing we're going to do is your windows startup apps now you only want to start the apps that you want so like i don't i'm not using any of these apps cortex i need dragon center i need virus protection all that you just want to make sure which apps you're using you want to start with those and not anything else that's not necessary so like discord and steam i don't start with that because those have heavy loads on your computer all right next thing we're going to get into is background apps so you want to just search up background and open that now these are all apps that you pretty much do not need unless you use like the calculator i don't use the 3d viewer nor the alarms and clock you use a calculator sometimes and you just don't want to disable the things you do not use so i'm just going to do that really quickly and these things are always running in the background by the way so all right there we go i am done Next thing you guys want to do is uninstall any client-sided mods you have in case you ever installed it or anything. I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of it. So, you can either search up 5M right here, but if it does not pop for pop up for you like this, you can hit your Windows key R, type in percent, app data, percent, and then hit OK. Now, go back once, go to logo, local, uh, find 5M right there, 5M application data. Here you go, you're in your 5M. Okay, now you want to go to mods. Delete everything except for sculpture rev revival.rpf and all these plugins you can delete too. None of these are needed except for this handling no matter if you have anything else, get rid of that. You can go to citizen, common, data. If there's anything in common except for data, you can delete it. If data should your data should be looking like this, you don't really need anything special in here. And then you clear it all client sided you have. Now we're going to be doing full screen optimizations and high DPS scaling for both the apps. So just increase FPS in general. So you could search up 5M at the bottom left if that doesn't work for you. And do the same steps as me. Hit your Windows key R. Type in percent app data percent. Hit OK. And now you want to find. Actually go back once. Go to local. You want to find your 5M. 5M.exe. You want to right click. Hit properties, go to compatibility, check in, disable full screen optimizations, and check in override high DPI scaling behavior. Hit OK, apply OK, go back to 5M application data. Actually, you did not need to do that. That's all you need. Now we're going to find our GTA. You can go to Epic Games or Steam to find it, but if you did not change your default location, you could just go to your C drive. Program files x86. 
Facebook for Epic Games or Steam, but I installed mine to somewhere custom. So I'm gonna go to my D drive, go to Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, GTA 5. Okay, now you wanna go to your play gta5.exe right click properties compatibility disable full screen optimizations change high dps settings check over and check in override high dps going in favor hit okay hit apply hit okay now you're good to go now we're gonna clear our 5m catch too so you could just search a 5m down here if that works for you just do the same steps as me again windows are Windows key R, percent up data percent, hit OK, go back once, go to local, 5M, application data, want to go to cache, select all your cache, hit shift, delete, hit yes. None of this is needed, this is all just textures, models, YTD, YDR, all texture model files, particle files, anything you downloaded from all the servers you want on to. And this will clear them all out, and you will need to re-download them in-game. So stuff will be invisible until you download it. Now, we're going to modify our anti-aliasing and texture filtering and override it. So you can either right-click and go to your AMD or NVIDIA, whichever one you got. You can go in here. Now you just want to go to Manage 3D Settings or in AMD. Go to your uh, performance page. And now... Uh, you want to make sure anti-aliasing and texture filtering are off on all of them. Every anti-aliasing and texture filtering that is, turn it off. So texture filtering right here, I'm going to right click it, turn it off. So increase FPS by a lot, it'll override your actual game. Texture filtering quality, you want to put that to high performance. Texture filtering, trial linear optimization. You want to turn that off. And you just want to hit apply. Just wait a second for it to apply. There you go. You can exit out of that. Now we're going to go to Windows graphics settings. So this is why having the newest drivers and the newest Windows update can do this. Search up graphics in the bottom left. Go to graphics settings. Make sure this is on. I'm pretty sure you have to restart your PC after, but do it. This will increase your performance on your GPU a lot. Hit Browse. Now we're going to find our 5M. So, actually, go back once. We're going to have to have our 5M on our desktop for this really quickly. So, you're going to have to find your 5M. Can you search it up in the bottom left if you have it? If you don't, percent up data percent with Windows R. Go back once. Go to Local. Find 5M right here. Put it on your desktop. Or once it is on your desktop, you can just search up graphics again or open it back up. You can hit browse, select this one, hit add, go to options, high performance, save. Now we're also going to try and find our GTA 5. So you will go to your GTA 5's install location if you know where it is. If you don't, go to Epic Games or Steam and go to your library and open file location of it from the Epic Games. Common GTA 5. And do gta5.exe, hit add, options, high performance, save. Now you can exit out of that. Now I actually have to bring this back because my thing is a little bit different. 5M, oh cool. There we go. Now we are going to optimize our Discord. So you just want to open up your Discord, go to your user settings. You're going to go to overlay, turn off your in-game overlay. Most people don't know how to turn this off, but you can turn it off right here. And just get rid of both of these. It increases performance a bunch. And you can also go to appearance and turn off hardware acceleration if needed badly. And you can do that. Put that back to my other monitor. All right. Now we're going to optimize your Steam if you have this on your steam if you have it on epic games you can try and follow along with me so you're gonna go to home recently played you'll find source sdk base 2007 you're gonna want to hit properties you can disable the steam overlay disable the desktop game theater while steam vr is active you can also hit these to forced off these two at the bottom forced off close 
Now you can also go to your GTA 5, hit properties, disable both of these, force both of these off, hit close. Now we are going to go to in game, see you guys there. Now I also forgot to say, when you start up your 5M, it'll say it needs to update the game catch, you just want to hit yes. See you guys back in the settings. Once you guys are in 5M, we're actually going to go into the menu settings first. And when I go to settings, you can set the ping to whatever you want. Connect your 5M account. But you want to hit display progress when downloading in-game streamed assets. This is when you know something is downloading your assets because you just cleared your thing. So you want to know that. Uh, and then you can just do uh, anything really here. You can do backdrop on your no board. Off is the best because it bores it. And then you could disable the music right here. That's your choice, so. I just want to go to any 5M server. I usually filter from players, so from the lowest to the highest. So I just go on, like, any server in my region that has zero people on it. That's in the making or something. This server seems to have still a lot of script. Quick disclaimer. It depends on how many scripts are in the server in the server's performance and FPS for you to have good performance. So not every server is going to have the same FPS as another. It's all depending on the server. I'll see you guys in game now for the actual settings. All right, once you guys are in the server, you can see that I'm averaging good FPS as you can see in my top right. This is the server with zero players though. So you just want to go to your 5M, go to settings. I have stretched res, that's just optional. Uh, stretch res will give you more FPS. You can always screen type is full screen it gives you more FPS. It's proven already uh, Resolution you could turn this down. <clears throat> you can turn this down if needed If you have to but you should be able to keep it at 1080p Extended distance scaling and this should be down if you really need it if you do not That could stay all the way up now. This should be off. This should be off. This should be off That just for looks this can be at 1080p. This should be off. This should be off. Everything should be down except except for distance scaling should all be up. Everything is pretty much all the way down for 5M. Uh, one thing you could do though is put this extended distance scaling down. That's optional. That's for extended view distance. And uh, yeah, that is my FPS guide. I will see you guys in the next video.